dual swallow, of course. This thing's so fun. Good morning, guys. This is the new Ibis Ripley XC slash trail bike that just came out. It's the version four. And if you're not familiar with Ibis, this is like their aggressive XC kind of bike, trail bike. You know, it's comparable to my uh, stump jumper short travel. Same amount of uh, travel front and back, 120 in the back, 130 up front. And I'm just making my way over to a descent here in the Kingdom Trails in East Brook, Vermont. Probably gonna do Toadie's Tour or something like that and see how this bike performs because this is the kind of trails this bike is for. It's just, I can tell it's a rocket ship. Holy moly. The DW Link in the back is super efficient. Uh, shock and fork are wide open and you can just lower the saddle and just sprint. Uh, I'm riding the totally Gucci'd out uh, spec. It's got Industry 9 hubs, like the new ones, uh, the Ibis carbon wheels, Fox suspension, 34 up front, um, Kashima factory, and same in the back. Um, <laughs> it's got the new XTR 12 speed, and it's my first time riding it. It's buttery smooth. I mean, I like how you can just downshift a couple at once, just grab a handful if you're coming up to a climb and it just switches down and it's so quiet. It's got the race face to next carbon cranks. I mean, this thing is really nice. Ibis carbon bar, but, and it's got the new XTR XC brakes. Really sharp looking. 180 rotors front and back. I feel like it's good modulation and uh, the knobby neck tires. Feels amazing, right? Just going to the trail. I mean, super poppy. I know everyone says that, but I like a bike that can get off the ground pretty easy, especially for, you know, mellow trails. I don't want to ride my mega tower on trails like these. Man, this is definitely a direct competitor to my stump jumper short travel. Geometry is pretty similar too. It's got a 76 degree seat tube angle, 66 and a half head tube angle, which, Feels perfect, nothing too extreme. Nice short chain save, I think it's 432, so you could definitely probably get it around these turns, but we will find out. So we're gonna do Toadie's tour to Catbox Hill and see how she goes. Suspension platform feels super good. Oh yeah. As she turns well. Wow, I am instantly comfortable on this bike, guys. This is like a glove for me. This size large. Brakes are scraping a little bit because dirt's flowing in there, so that's that noise, but wow. Pedals so nicely. This is a little jump right here. Let's see how she goes. You. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, why did I ride in this bike? I want it. If I didn't say so before, I'm 5'10", 175 pounds and the large is the way to go. Um, Ibis even recommends me to get a large. Oh, we got Steve coming up on me. My buddy's behind me on his Rocky Mountain element. He's XC racers, he's fast. Oh, it pumps really nice. Wow. You should see the smile on my face. I wish the camera would pan up. It's just so predictable. I feel so comfortable on this thing already. I mean, it's, it is pretty. Ooh, step up. Woo! Got a one footer. <laughs> Jump here. <laughs> oh, so fast. Yeah. The pedal efficiency is just feels like an XC bike, but when you're hitting these bumps, 
it opens up nicely. Pretty plush. Oh yeah. It's my first ride of the morning too, so I'm just getting warmed up. Really good in this tight stuff like here. A little rooty. This bike's so meant for these trails. We'll drop. Oh God. Really good on the turns, guys. Just short chain stays. Nice to whip around with these turns right here. Oh yeah. Woo! So we're gonna start to descend the cat box hill. A little mini descent with some jumps and bowl turns like this. Oh, it's just, it's intuitive. There's no thinking. The geometry's not too extreme. She sends, I mean, this thing is just nice. Designed for nice trails like these. I think it handled more tech too, to be honest. Just so smooth, here comes a little table. Yeah. Jumps really nice. And I'm, I think I'm really comfortable on this bike because it's so familiar with, or, or similar to my Stump Jumper ST. You know, the geometry is pretty similar. I'll put a little comparison here on the screen right now. You know, the head tube and the seat tube angle and stuff like that. But it just feels so light. You know, the frame is only five pounds without the shock installed, which is probably almost a pound less than my Stump Jumper S works. Just feels good, you know, over those little roots and stuff like that. And the turning is a little bit better than my Stump Jumper. I noticed that right off the bat. And the pedal position is just a little bit more comfy. The cockpit feels a touch smaller. I'm guessing this is about a 40 mil, 45 millimeter stem or 50 maybe. And it just, this bike is spot on. I wouldn't change a thing. But guys, let's look at this Ripley real quick. Steve, what do you think about this uh, Ripley, dude? How it looks? Dude, it looks nice. It's sharp, like the color is sharp. It's like a, I'd say it's like a baby blue with a little hint of purple to it maybe or something like that in real life. I don't know how it's gonna come across on the GoPro, but so we're making our way up Barrington Bench. This thing's a nice climber too. It's just a nice seating position, very comfortable. You see Steve just take off. He's an XC racer, so uh, he's gone on the element. But it's just so light. Um, it feels like it just dances down the trail and it is set. And on this climb, just super comfortable. That 76 degree seat tube angle. I'm just in a happy spot right now. Um, could be my body size and you know my limb length, whatever. The bike just fits. Handlebar width is perfect. It's probably about 780. The rise is perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. Whew. Maybe the tires. Um, not me next to not the most aggressive tire. You know, I'm a big Maxxis fan or even specialized butcher up front or Maxxis DHF or something, but holy God, for here, these Schwabies are nice. I can't wait to get to the top because I'm definitely doing another descent. It's worth it. So on these climbs though, the ZW link on the descent and the climbs, it's just stiff. Laterally that is. And no noticeable, really inefficient bob. I just feel planted on the ground and every pedal stroke is pushing me forward. I mean, short chain stay, whip around turns. Wow. That's one word to describe this bike is wow. Well done, Ibis. You know, I rode the Ritmo last year. Couldn't get comfortable on that one. Maybe because I was on a size medium and I just like a larger bike, but this large feels like just spot on. I don't know, but Maybe if I tried the large Ritmo, it would be a different story, but... And it's just these trails. This is what it's designed for. Fast, flowy, little tech hair in there trails. You can just blitz them. All right, guys, so we're back at base camp. And what can I say about this Ripley? It rips. Uh, yeah, this thing's a direct comparison to my Stump Jumper Short Travel, you know? But the Ripley, it just performs. It feels really similar to my Stump Jumper in Geo figures, but this, the back end's so much more refined with that uh, DW link. You know, the FSR, it's a good active suspension, but it does have a little bobbing in it. And the support throughout the whole entire stroke of that Ripley is just 
unreal. Like it's just, you could pop off stuff and just rail turns. It feels like a nice short bike, even being a size large for a short travel 29er that can pretty much do it all. Um, Ripley's should be on your short list. Definitely go get it out there and go demo it. Compare it to other bikes though, like my stumpy short travel, like I've been talking about the whole time because that's for the bike I own. I guess another good comparison would be the Evil Following MB. Um, say DW Link, you know, day wheel design, but I don't know. The, the Evil feels more downhill oriented. This thing's just like a rocket ship. It's just the pedal efficiency is so high. Also, compared to the SB100, they feel kind of similar. It's just not as plush. This thing has a little bit more travel, obviously, 20 more millimeters in the back. And it's just, it's a little more squish, but it's just, I can't describe how it pedals. It's just, you gotta ride one. But guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, stun jumper. What am I going to do with you? I'll keep you. Maybe.